Hey friends, so I have a very exciting announcement to make, which is, drum roll, I've created a stock research checklist, which we can go through when we are making our next investment in an individual stock. So this is something that I personally would have really liked to have and something that I've actually created for myself. So when I am researching an individual stock and an individual company, I can complete this checklist and know in my heart of hearts that I've done absolutely everything to really analyze this company and ensure that it's a company that I would like to add to part of my portfolio. And the reason why I've decided to create this stock research checklist is because I've realized that there is quite a big demand for people looking for information on how to do due diligence when you are investing in an individual stock or business. And in fact, my best performing video is my video on how to research stocks before I invest in them. So this stock research checklist is basically a follow-on from that video and it will go into a lot more detail about each of these different segments and each of these different points and basically put it into a checklist. This checklist is also fully customizable so you can actually type in information, you can also check off different points when they are applicable and you can keep on reusing this checklist over and over again to do research on your different stocks. Analyzing my stocks in this way has given me so much peace of mind and has also ensured that I have invested in businesses that do perform really well over the long term. So the stock research checklist is currently on sale for $19 and you can download it by using the link in my description below. By downloading it you'll also get a video where I explain how to use the stock research checklist and also the reasons why I've put all of these steps into the checklist. So let's get into what's included in this stock research checklist and what makes up all of these different points. So the first section is all about understanding companies and industries which are within your circle of competence because when we are making investments into individual stocks and businesses we want to ensure that we do have an understanding of these companies and industries and we do want to ensure that these companies fit into our circle of competence. The next step is understanding the business which means that we will be able to summarize the business and what they do and how they make money really simply on just one page. We will understand the products or services which bring in the most revenue and also how to find this information and we'll also find out how to ensure that this company also aligns with our values as well so the next part is understanding the competitive advantage of our companies so having a look at who their competitors are and if there are any threats to this business in the future because we do want to ensure that the businesses that we do invest in for the long term will be around for the long term we will also have a look at how to analyze the financials of the business and the different things that we should pull out in the financial statements and how to find this information, including the revenue, the operating income, the net income and the free cash flow. And finally, we will have a look into the management team, including how much the CEO earns and the management team's compensation and also how long the management team have worked at this company. And the last step is having a look at the valuation of the business. I will show you how I personally value a business and the different value indicators that I look at to ensure that I'm buying my stocks at an undervalued price with plenty of potential upside and growth in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And just remember that I do have a link in my description below to the stock research checklist. So you can check it out and see all of the different elements in this checklist. And the reason why I think that this is a really valuable checklist. I hope you do enjoy it and I hope you do check out the checklist and let me know your thoughts on it. If you did like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos about investing and personal finance. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And if you'd like to see some more videos, I've got some links to some videos here. So make sure you click the links and click through to another video.